Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Kol Halon Yom La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barakha Hakodash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Barakha Hakodash means in the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, on which we worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. <clears throat> It's Brother Mathakti from the Great Millstone Camp in Branch on Des Moines. And I'm um, not sure what I'm going to title this lesson just yet, but uh, it's based off Leviticus, the 23rd chapter. Since we're coming into the Day of Atonement, once the sun sets, you know, I want to go into um, the afflicting our souls part. You know, um, we'll be coming in, uh, into it at sunset, whatever um, time the sunset within our area. We'll be coming into the Day of Atonement, and uh, that's when you abstain from eating or drinking. You know, so I just want to go into that and show that that's what this day is about. And Lord will, I hope it's edifying. So this is Leviticus, the 23rd chapter. And I'm going to start at 26. And Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai spake unto Moses, saying, Also on the 10th day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be in holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know, so it's a holy day unto us, man. And according to Sirach, the Lord spoke about how he distinguished certain days. This is Sirach 33 and 7. It says, why doeth one day excel another? So why is one day better than another? Or why is one day above another day? When as all the light of every day in the year is of the sun. By the knowledge of the Lord, they were distinguished. You see, so by the knowledge of the Lord, we know which days is higher days or, 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 or exalted days. Right? In which days are not. It says, and he altered seasons and feasts. And we can read that in Leviticus, the 23rd chapter, right? Verse 9. Some of them had he made high days and hallowed them. He sanctified them, made them holy. And some of them had he made ordinary days, right? So this day we're coming into is a high holy day. You know, it's a hallowed day unto us where we afflict our souls. Yesterday, it was a holy day unto us. It was the Lord Shabbat. Right? And the Wadi Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah for returning our heritage back unto us that, that we can acknowledge such days as, 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 as these days that we're allowed to keep through the Holy Spirit. So going back to Leviticus 23 and um, verse 27 again. Also on the 10th day of the seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be in holy convocation unto you a hallowed day, right? It says, and ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And the offering we give today is uh, what it says in Romans 12. Uh, Present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which, are, which is our reasonable service. It also speaks about the praise of our lips, giving thanks to his name, Right? It says our prayers as incense in the book of Psalms, man. So all these different offerings we give is spiritual now. You can read Sirach the 35th chapter concerning the offerings, right? Verse 28, it says, And ye shall do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement to make an atonement for you before Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah your power. And if you're able to get this day off from work, by all means do so. And if not, then, you know, that's a day we have to... <laughs> You know, do what we got to do while also afflicting ourselves, man. You know, and that's uh, it, it is what it is. You know, a lot of brothers, you know, got app based jobs or I ain't gonna say a lot. I say some brothers got app based jobs where you work for yourself, which you could take that day off, which is beautiful. You know, certain brothers, you know, you, you can be able to call in or you could be able to use your, uh, your your paid time off. You know, me, me particularly. You know, uh, I ain't got no more paid time off. So it's a day that I'm uh, unfortunately have to work. But it is what it is, man. You know, may Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai strengthen me and give me the power to make it through the day. Right. So it says, verse 29, for whatsoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted. See, this is where Yahweh Shai comes in at, man. <laughs> you know, for if we have to work on this day. Man, that's where the grace of our Lord Yahweh Shah comes, you know, but verse 29 for whatsoever so it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day. He shall be cut off from among his people. So we have to afflict our souls. Now, when we go into this word afflict, it says to afflict, oppress, humble, 
to bow down and we do that in the form of fasting. Now you might ask, well, how do you know that? Or how do you figure that? Well, when we get the book of, um, I believe it's Ezra 9. Let's see. This is the book of, uh, yep, Ezra 8. Ezra 8 and 21. It says, Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river of Hava that we might afflict, same word, you see, Aina, to afflict, oppress, humble, <laughs> you see, that we might afflict ourselves before our power to seek of him a right way for us and for our little ones and for all our substance. So tying in the affliction and the fast together. So showing you that this day of atonement that we're coming into is indeed a fast where we afflict ourselves, just like what Ezra proclaimed here about a river. And we can also go to Daniel. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 10 and verse 12. Then said he unto me, well, matter of fact, when you start at verse 2, Daniel 10 and 2, in those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth, neither did I, neither did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. So Daniel was on a fast, you see? So now when we jump down to verse 12, then said he unto me, fear not, Daniel. For from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy power, thy words were heard and I am come for thy words. Now, when we go into this word chasten, what will you, will you look at that? The same Hebrew word, Aina, which means to afflict, oppress, humble. You see? So this is a day where we humble ourselves in the sight of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah in the form of what? Fasting. It tells us here in the book of Psalms. This Psalms 35 and 13, it says, but as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with flat, with fasting. That word humble. See, same word again. I nah to afflict, humble, be bowed down. So it says, I humbled my soul with fasting and my prayer returned into my own bosom. So showing you that this day that we're coming into, man, is a day of fasting where we abstain from uh from drinking and from eating for one whole day from sundown to sundown you know and make an atonement you know for for, for our sins which yahweh shai is our atonement you know so we already have the atonement through our lord yahweh shai but as it is written in the book of judges let's grab that it's judges 5 and 11 it says they that are delivered from the noise of the archers which goes into the missiles in the place of drawn water, in the place of our captivity, where we were slaves, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. You see? So we're rehearsing these righteous acts to recount, tell again, <laughs> you know, commemorate or celebrate, you know? And we're commemorating or celebrating this holy day that we're coming into by keeping it as the scriptures tell us to keep it, right? As well as the rest of the righteous acts as, as keeping the Sabbath, you know, as walking in the spirit to the best of our ability, you know? So let's see, um... Fasting is H... 6685. Let's just see what comes up. <laughs> yep, to seek the Lord. This uh, Second Chronicles 20 and 3. And Jehoshaphat, which is Yahweh Shapat, which means Yahweh's judgment, feared and set himself to seek Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. <laughs> Did not Daniel do the same thing, man? You know, so if we're looking to be in the favor of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, you know, then, 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 then fasting, you know, is a way to do so. And not, and I'm going to just say this and not just on a day of atonement, you know, the day of atonement is a, uh, you know, a commandment where we all come together and, and, and fast, you know, as believers, 
but um there should be you know days where 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 there's personal fast between you and Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know it speaks about the bridegroom and when he's gone matter of fact lord's will we can get that next uh second chronicles 20 and 3 and jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek yahweh basham yahweh shot and proclaim the fast throughout all judah and this should be our same mentality man when we hear about the judgments and the things that come upon this place you know we should humble ourselves and we humble ourselves through what through fasting hey the lord even told us to return unto him this joel too And 13, verse 12, this Joel 2 and 12, therefore also now saith Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, turn ye even to me with all your heart, with all your mind, right? And with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. And what are we mourning for, man? See, being in this state of mourning, where it says wailing, lamentation, it tells us in Ecclesiastes 7 that it makes the heart better. And that's that broken and contrite spirit the Lord will not despise as it is written in the book of uh, Psalms, the 51st chapter. And also, um, might be Psalms 37 or 34. It's, it's in the 30s somewhere. And it speaks about, you know, how the Lord loves that contrite spirit. And Isaiah, the 66th chapter, he says those are the ones that he look into. When you look up that word, the Hebrew word for look, it means uh, to regard with care. It's the Hebrew word nabat, you know. And keep in mind that when we fast, you know, we, 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 that's, that's, that's the state of angels, man. You know, the angels don't eat or drink. And while we fast and we abstain from any, um, I just say it like this sexual activities as well. Cause it speaks about, um, let me just prove this real quick. How's it uh, worded? Um, Yep. Uh, first Corinthians seven and five. Now this is going into the, the man with his wife. Right. Let's start at verse three. First Corinthians seven and three. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, meaning he got to he got to give her the pipe. And likewise, also the wife unto the husband, meaning when the husband want it, you got to give it. The wife have not power of her own body, but the husband. And likewise, also the husband have not power of his own body, but the wife. You see, so it goes both ways, man. When she wants it, you got to give it. You know, when he wants it, you got to give it. It's as simple as that, right? Verse five, defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for a time that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer and come together again that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency. You see, so we abstain from these things while we're fasting and while, you know, Unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. And of course, on, on, on this day that we're coming into, because it's treated as a, a as a Sabbath, you know, and you abstain from those things on the Sabbath days, man. Don't let any other camp tell you otherwise, right? Back in Joel 2 and 13 now, and rend your heart. See, that's that contrite and broken spirit. You're rending your heart and not your garment. You're ripping your garment, man. That's an outward show uh, of mourning, you know. We should rend our heart, man. It's an inward, you know, it says, uh, um, how did Paul word it in Corinthians? Second Corinthians, he said, godly sorrow worketh repentance not to be sorrowed of, but but repentance of the world equals death. I'm roughly paraphrasing that precept. I believe it's Second Chronicle, uh, Second Corinthians, the seventh chapter, Salakia. But it says, and rend your heart and not your garments, and turn unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh your power. For he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness and repented him of the evil, man. You know, so going back to this verse 12, it should be set days between you and Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah to where you should be fasting unto the Lord, man, and not just on a day of atonement. Now, I had mentioned um, the bridegroom. Now, this is the book of um, Matthew 9 and 14. Then came to him the disciples of John 
saying, why do we and the Pharisees fast oft, meaning often, right? But thy disciples fast not. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, can the children of the bride chamber mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? So Yahweh Shah was like, look, as long as I'm here, they're not in a state of mourning. But it says, but the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them and then shall they fast. So here it is. Yahweh Shah is not physically here with us, man. You know, so going back into verse 14, we should be fasting off. Now, that's between you and Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, how often that is. But it should be more than just on the Day of Atonement. You know, I go, I go so far as to say that it should be more than just the Day of Atonement. You know. Seeing as, uh, 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 you know, calamities and plagues and tribulation is approaching fast and, you know, it's right around the corner, man. And these is how we, um, you know, deny the flesh more to, to walk in the spirit more. You know, it's through fasting hey, because it speaks about how certain demons. Can't come off except by uh Matthew 17 and 20. And Yahweh Shah, I started to 19. And then came the disciples to Yahweh Shah apart and said, why could not we cast him out? Now, when you read up, it was speaking about, you know, this devil that was plaguing this, uh, uh, this child, right? Verse 20. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. This is the point. How be it this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fast. And so certain uh, uh you know demons might have a hold of us, man. Certain, you know, lust or or, or certain habits we might have, man, and it and it takes you know, fasting to uh, to break those things uh, uh, from off us, man. You know, that's why in Isaiah the 58 chapter, the Lord said, is, is this not the fast that I chose to break the yoke? Right? So this is how we free ourselves from the flesh through the Holy Spirit more and more as we see our Lord approaching. This is the book of Isaiah 58. And six, is not this the fast that I have chosen? To loose the bands of wickedness, you see, to undo the heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and that ye break every yoke. And that's through returning unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah with weeping, mourning and fasting. You know, and and it's heavy that, the you know, we're able to observe such a high holy day as we're coming into, you know, the day of atonement, you know, because that day. In the ancient world, it's the day that uh, uh, Aaron would go into the Holy of Holies, you know, and present the sacrifice for himself and then for the nation, you know, and our Lord Yahweh Shah did that, you know, when he um, went on that cross for us, man. You know, so this is a very heavy day, you know, in the heavens, man, and unto us, you know, so I'm going to go back. Let's see. Just to show you, man, you know. That this day is a fast day, you know. And then, um, yep, see, verse 32. It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest, and ye shall afflict your souls in the ninth day of the month at even, meaning at sundown. From even unto even shall ye celebrate your Sabbath, man. So this day is counted as a Sabbath unto us. And it's a day where we afflict, where we humble ourselves, right? Where we fast unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, you know. And like I said, once again, man, Yahweh Shai is our atonement. Hey, but according to Psalms, the 32nd chapter, it tells us what? You know, in verse 5, Psalms 32 and 5, I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Salah. You know, so. This is a day, man, you know, uh, if you have aught with any brothers, man, you know, ask for forgiveness, you know, as we ask for, for uh, ask those brothers to forgive you as we hope Yahweh Shah forgives us, you know, and um, yeah, man, <laughs> you know, it's a very heavy day, man, you know, where we present ourselves, you know, unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah through the spirit and um, ask forgiveness of our sins through our Lord Yahweh Shah. 
you know, because that's what the elect, that's what those who fear Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah would do. Verse 6, for this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. And it's not something that happens just one time. I repented when I came into the faith. Yeah, bro, it's a continual repentance. You know, according to Psalms 19, but we commit secret sins that we don't even know about, man. Psalms 130 says, if the Lord will count iniquities, who shall stand? So that's what makes our our Lord Yahweh Shah sacrifice that much more important, man. Because when we understand how wretched and, and 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 how through we really is, you know. So the Wadi Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah for allowing us to acknowledge us today that we're coming into the Wadi Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah for the gift of faith, the Wadi Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah for our Lord Yahweh Shah and may His blood, you know, covers us, man, and may the may Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah accept our atonement. You know, when the sun goes down. So, Lord willing, I hope this was out of fine. Thought of Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, Baracha HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and the sincerity, always in charity. Shalom.